Flashback. And hello and welcome to another exciting video where I work with my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> Look what I got myself into. Gonna try to strip all the rust as much as possible and paint it. But I'm finally getting there. I I'm almost there. I have to just fix this all, clean it and install it. So now I'm just trying to soak all the bolts with PV Blaster. Gonna have to do it for a few days, I guess. Like I said, my main concern is these bolts. I just hope they don't break inside. Because if they do, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but the rest of them, even if they break, I can cut them out. I can put different bolt and nut in there. That's no big deal. I still have to take this out as well. But that should be right, hopefully. But yeah. Gotta start working on it. So first I'm gonna try to remove this stabilizing bar. Gotta remove these four bolts over here, which are 40 millimeter. So let's see. Wish me luck. That's the first bolt. And slowly but surely it's coming out. So gonna try to take all of them out. Gonna clear. Gonna see if I can remove all of these and these. And that, <laughs> remove this brake line, um, and then gonna start sending this all off. We'll see how that's gonna go. So I'll keep you guys posted. All right, the rear stabilization bar is out. This bolt came out all the way with a little bit of difficulty. They came out. This one unfortunately broke, but then I just loosen up these two top ones, and I just slide the whole thing out, and that goes to the garbage. Luckily. I have no use for this anyway, so it's all right. So now I'm gonna try to remove this brake line and maybe I remove these uh, parking brake lines as well. And then I'm gonna work on uh, trying to take this cover off. So this line is removed. This one gonna come out together with the plate. Uh, this bolt I might have to cut over here. That's what I did over here. Not to unscrew all of it, I just cut this part and then it's to bolt to remove. So now I'm gonna attempt with a 30 millimeter, try to remove these bolts and hopefully they all just gonna come out. So wish me luck guys. All right, that was nice. All right, that one is even loose. This one too. Okay. Wow, let's not jinx it, but, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right, guys. I broke them all loose, so now I'm gonna take off the cover, we're gonna see what's inside. Later on I'm gonna put it back just to keep it sealed because I'm gonna be cleaning this all up. But I really wanna see what's inside. So I picked up this uh, close range set for the brake lines uh, from Harbor Frey, just wanted to test it out. And this was extremely rusted over here, but I was able to break the nut without stripping it, so that was a good inv investment as well, and it works. Alright guys, so let's open the diff, let's see what's inside. As long as the gears are in intact, that's all that matters. Everything else, surface rust, it's no big deal. And... I mean, yeah, it looks just... A little bit oily, smells amazing, but other than that, I think it looks okay. I think it looks okay, guys. So now I'm just gonna just try to dump whatever is left in there, and um, let's see. Let's hope I'm not gonna make a mess. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe it was changed recently or something, but it 
it's definitely not dark. I mean, it's dark, but I can see, I can still see some light through it, and I don't see too much of uh, chunks of metal, so that's good. I hope you guys can see it. I try to clean this up. I may clean this more, but it's way better now than it used to be. So now I'm just gonna put the car back on so I can work on the rest of it. I don't want to break these two bolts, so I'm gonna try to heat them up and hopefully they're gonna come out. So unfortunately all bolts are broke even though they were going out without too much of a resistance but then all of a sudden they just snapped. Uh, I don't know what's the deal but anyways I'm just gonna have to drill them out and I'm gonna use a longer new bolt with a new nut on the other side. This is no big deal. So this is least of my worries. Now I just gonna have to remove this somehow and hopefully this bolt doesn't break. Alright guys so I think I removed everything that can be in a way too bad that these three bolts broke no matter how hard I tried not to break them so now I'm just gonna have to work on it and sand this and sand this and sand this try to remove as much of the rust as possible so let's see how that's gonna work out and after that is done I can paint this so still working on cleaning this axle it's coming out not too bad actually uh, I was expecting worse so a lot of it it was like mostly like surface rust so yeah this still has to be a little more cleaned up but the axle is not too bad compared to how it all was pretty much like that with a huge chunks of rust but it's coming out all right gonna clean a little more then uh, blow all the rust out clean it degrease it and time to paint it okay guys so I clean it as best as I could I mean I'm not gonna be able to get all the rust completely out but I tried my best so now first before I paint it with a regular paint I'm gonna heat it with a few layers of this rust reformer supposedly it's good so we'll see so gonna paint it let it dry paint it let it dry and then gonna heat it with a regular paint black all right a uh, couple of coats of rust reformer are applied now I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours before I apply the top coat but this is already looking much better <laughs> looks much better so as you can see guys the axle is painted and everything so now I'm working on replacing the parking brakes I already took the old ones out they were not too bad but might as well replace it so now I'm gonna play with it struggle with it and uh, replace the parking brakes there are probably a better ways to do it simpler ways to do it okay and then it snaps in there nice so I just pushed it by hand first twist it a little bit and then with a the screwdriver I put it I feel like it's in place now I can do the second side so now I'm just comparing the new hardware to the old and I somewhat made the same distance over here but this can be adjusted later so now I'm gonna just slide it in here I push the brakes apart something like that now I can close this and that's it this we can adjust for more or for less depending how much we need it now this piece we're gonna be reusing so I'm gonna put it back inside there as well Our part is in place as well now I can go ahead and put the spring here and spring over here <laughs> all right guys the parking brakes are installed brand new on both sides just don't forget to put a grease on these points of contact this kit comes with a white lithium grease so just put it some in there <laughs> but this is pretty much done and pretty much can start installing the axle to the truck 
but not yet I still gotta work with this one and just look at this color how rusty it is guys so now I'm gonna take it off clean the surface and we are ready to put our RB color on this feels like a heavy duty <laughs> this is heavy so very excited about that so gonna take the cover off clean it and then apply the ultra black gasket maker um, gonna, tr gonna try my best to put it nice in there to be honest uh, I never put it on the differentials before but there is always first time for everything right and now just to test the electronic locker I'm gonna try it with this uh, 12 volt battery so the blue one is our ground and the white cable is our positive so that's what I have connected over here so hopefully this is gonna move yep there you go it works it locks and releases great okay so I prepared the surface over here it's clean uh, use the brake cleaner sandpaper to just Hopefully it's clean. Now I'm gonna apply this uh, gasket maker. Alright, so I put on the RTV. Hopefully I did it all right. But only time will show if it leaks. Then I will know that I didn't do it good. But anyways, now the cover is ready. I'm gonna put the cover on. Just gonna tighten up the bolts by hand first and then gonna wait an hour and then I can torque it to spec right so all the bolts are hand tight and I believe the RTV came out on all sides yes even though here it came out so hopefully I did it okay but only time will show the worst that could happen it's gonna leak and I'm gonna have to take it all off again and redo it but hopefully it's all right so now I'm gonna wait an hour let it cure and then I'm gonna tighten it up so now I'm gonna try to take this diff apart at least open up this cover so we can see what kind of fluid it has inside it has any and to look at the gears once I do that I'm gonna reassemble it uh, try to clean it up more and probably just gonna even paint it a little bit because why not so let's take all the bolts out once we break them loose they come out easy the good thing over here it's al all aluminum it doesn't really rust so in total there is 10 bolts there's nine bolts on this side and there's one bolt on that side so let's take the cover off and let's see what's inside now when you take these bolts out from over here and the, the last one from back there just keep in mind the one that goes in here it's longer so keep that one on the side you want to put it somewhere where it's not belong so now to take this apart there is a little edge over here that we can hammer it but it's better to do with a like a mallet but since I don't have it so I have to improvise just gonna have to heat it over here you don't want to heat it with a uh, bare metal on aluminum so all right oh and it's dry and clean <laughs> it was sealed up pretty good over here all right the old seal is out looks really nasty so i'm gonna clean over here now and we're gonna put our new seal in, in there and the new seal is in place so now i'm gonna install the axle back and repeat the procedure on the second side and for now i'm gonna consider the front axle rebuilt so working on this second side now and this seal over here is really bad it really looks bad so and I can see that it's probably was even leaking over here so I'm glad I'm replacing it all right the RTV is in place now I can cover it up put a cover on tighten it by hand and then I'm gonna torque the bolts to spec when the time is right a small tip guys if you want to paint something where you have a threads and you don't want to get the paint inside there you can use the earplugs just twist them around push it inside the hole Wait a couple of seconds, it's gonna expand, 
that way your threads are protected and not gonna get any paint on them.